Hi, let's talk about some of the changes to SOLIDWORKS PDM in 2024. The first actually isn't in the PDM interface, it's in the assembly visualization interface. You can actually use PDM states as a visualization tool to see what workflow states items are in in your assembly. We have several different items here that we can group into identical states and then roll back up as needed. We're also able to save this as a display state. If we would want to see this visualization tool rapidly outside of the assembly visualization interface. From here, we'll go into our file and make the necessary changes to continue moving this assembly through our design process. Once we've completed those changes, we'll want to check these files back in. We can also check again and use our assembly visualization display state using the Chevron. When submitting this for approval, another change in SOLIDWORKS 2024 is that we are now able to keep files checked out once we have changed the state. We have a new column where we're able to do that if we would like to. After leaving some comments, we'll change the state of this file. Changes to the PDM interface in Explorer are that the history interface has changed and now activates when you check out files. This way we can see full and more complete file history in a way that makes sense. Checking for revisions too is also a breeze and we can see full revision history when we go up to actions and get version. This improves the clarity of the PDM interface when going back to get different versions. We can see that our version is out of date using the overhauled version tab within PDM. This is a different look and gives us more access to information. Bills of materials also get an overhaul and we are now able to take a look and add different items to name bills of materials more quickly. In this instance, we can compare the bill of materials and see that columns that we've hidden are marked as deleted when we compare bombs. And for purchased items, things like a make or buy column, where we would previously have to enter information individually, once we check out the bomb, we can actually insert a single cell value into multiple properties. Simply hitting shift, clicking the items, entering what value we would like, and hitting OK will do that for us. Hope you enjoy using SOLIDWORKS 2024 and all these great new PDM enhancements.